Hello everybody and welcome back to the Animals YouTube channel. Today we're reacting to the Animals TV show episode 6, which is called The Message. Now, as you Animals fans might know, The Message is, in book terms, number 4. And that is where we find Aximily Escruth is still, or Ax for short. And so I'm imagining this is where we find him. Now remember, this is a drinking game and we have the six rules in place. By the way, if you want to suggest new rules, then feel free to write it down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe, by the way. I don't say that enough. Like and subscribe. If you, if you like Animorphs, this... I'm doing rereads of the series right now. And when all that's done, I'm going to do Animorphs theories, character bloody essays and whatever. Loads of animal stuff. So if you like animals, this is where you need to be. Why aren't you subscribed? Why aren't you liking this video? Why aren't you sharing it with all your friends? Whatever. These are the drinking rules. I'm doing it in fingers. So, for example, that'll be two fingers. I drink down to two fingers level. Anytime Marco utters a Mexican phrase is two fingers. Anytime an, an alien shot is recycled is two fingers. Anytime there's a slow-mo one finger. Anytime somebody lets loose in a Canadian accent, that's three fingers. Anytime an, an alien appears on screen, two fingers. And anytime somebody speed morphs off screen, that's two fingers. I'm going to add another one, actually. And I know it might not be for this episode, but it will certainly be for the epi episodes to come. Axe and food. And that's going to be two fingers. So anytime Axe appears on screen, Talking about food, that is two fingers. And I think that's a pretty sensible rule. Today I'm drinking Moretti, which is a, an Italian one. And it's got a guy with a moustache with a funky hat, and I like that. Right, without further ado, let's watch this. Episode 6, The Message. Let's get drinking. Too loud. They, they really overuse animal sounds in this as well. Anytime somebody's morphed an animal, they, they, we constantly have to be reminded what animal it is by the noise of that animal. Was that slow-mo? It didn't look like... It almost looked like slow-mo. See? We, do, we still need the noise. Apparently. This is going to Well, well, that, that was a speed morph off camera, wasn't it? Yeah, that counts. That's two fingers, drink. The second you would have been history. Turning into animals kind of changes the way you see the world. Like predators and their prey. It's one thing to observe it in nature. Slow-mo, one finger, drink. Makes me realize that to the years we humans are like a rabbit is to a hawk. We are prey. And like the hawk to the rabbit, both Yerk and human... By the way, the whole, um... What's with the rabbit? Morph? The whole quick morphing is not actually oh, just the TV show. In Book 18, which I've just read, Vista 3 does it. He morphs in like 10 seconds. I'm losing altitude. I'm breaking up. Did you hear that? I heard something. I'm falling out of orbit. Slow-mo. Lots of slow-mo. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna judge on how many fingers it's worth. So we've had a few bits of slow-mo. There's some more slow-mo. Slow -mo. Systems down. More slow-mo. More slow-mo. Fast-mo. <laughs> more slow-mo. No more time. More slow-mo. Can't get control. And Cassie's denim jacket jeans combo. What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Ugh. This music needs to go away. I don't want no more time. <laughs> <laughs> Basically got a couple of socks tied them together and threw them out of a tree. Right, how many fingers is that worth? Because that was a lot of slow-mo. I'm going to say three. It's worth three fingers, that one. Down the hatch, lads. And lasses. You know, not gender-specific. There's animals thing, is it? Ah... Lovely. I quite like Moretti. Do I like it? Yeah, I like it. Better. 
I've done a cover of this, by the way. It's up on my channel. Awesome thing, too. Big Sean, Big Boris, Big Nadia, Big Brooke, Little Christopher. <laughs> I'm surprised that Axe doesn't start to appear in the credits after this episode, because he is one of the main cast. He doesn't appear in the intro, though. Oh, man. I feel like I flew into a wall. You okay? I think so. What happened? I'm not sure. We didn't just see it, we felt it. As if we were there. Maybe it was a dream. A hallucination. They're both Tobias and I felt They're both the wearing denim com the denim combo. Did anyone talk to her? She went to her father's. If there's ever a right an animals convention, field. everybody needs to go with in fun. all denim. Does that count? I scattered the area. It's safe. Nobody from miles. It's kinda like thought speak. Look at how Fangor spoke to us. When we could hear his thoughts in our head. <sighs> Only this was way more intense. Thought speak. Now you don't think. No. It couldn't be. Now Fangor said more Andalites would be coming. Great. Our own town's just raining aliens, isn't it? We might as well be living in Roswell. If it's an Andalite, why didn't we all feel it? Well, maybe Cassie's more in tune with the universe, you know? I mean, she does the animal thing better than we do. She doesn't even crunch when she shrinks. But Tobias felt it too. She doesn't even crunch when she shrinks. What's that? Way? Must be my superior hawk brain. Get over yourself. That's a weird line. We need to know whether or not this is an Andalite. Wait. We don't know if what they saw was real. And if it was, then how do we know it's not another Yerk trap? If they could get into our minds, they would have already tried. If there's any chance that this is an Andalite, we have to do our best to try and help him. Now, Fangor died trying to save us and our world. We owe him that much. What would Rachel say in this situation? Oh no, she's not there. I think she was away during this episode. We've been working on it day and night ever since you found it, sir. It's an Andalite technology that we're not familiar with. Then familiarize yourself with it. Yes, sir. Oh, and if you don't mind me saying so, sir, I think that you've chosen an excellent human morph. I actually agree. I think he's not a bad actor. Humans are soft and weak. This is better. Don't you agree? Does that count, does that count as a speed morph? Because it was off screen and it was... Yeah, that counts. So that's two fingers. Drink. I think it's time to refill that. It's time to take a break and say, yes, Rachel, from what I remember, isn't in this episode until like the last second. I don't know why. I don't know why her character apparently wasn't necessary to this plot line. But hey ho, anyway, this is Visa 3's secret lab. He, he's in here a few times. The entire Yerk military on Earth has this one little laboratory in this one little room. Hey, how's this gonna continue? Three, three. Oh, that was seen over, okay. Where are you? Oh yeah, and they couldn't afford underwater activities, so Axe is respond. the local woods in an old family. I need your help. Don't be scared, I'm gonna help you. Nevis or see you. Please. My location is very so seven four seven. I can hear you. This wasn't how it was in the boom. Please, Smith. Please. Please. Slow mo. Quite a few bits of slow mo. This is worth at least two fingers. Drink. Can you hear me? Please. Please respond. I need your help. Still more slow-mo. It's going to be worth another finger in a minute. 
I need help. <laughs> Millie, Smith, Seal, you just want him. I like how during his thought speak, Axe is just like. <coughs> Does anybody think those noises? Is anyone out there? Sir, are you all right? Another one has landed. Well, uh, why is the and like that was a good moment? Why do you have to bring the freaking disc into it? The disc has got nothing to do with it. I think that was a slow. I think that was a slow mo. Regardless, we deserve another finger there. Drink. You okay, Cass? Yeah, you look like you acquired a ghost. It's alive. I see where it's been hiding. Let's go somewhere quiet. The denim combo. Whatever it is, I can feel its pain. These images. It's like I'm seeing two of everything. Like two sets of eyes? What, but like an andalite? So tell us what you saw. I saw a forest. Slow mo drink. Thanks. More slow mo. I'm gonna count it as the same one. Some kind of a pipe. A pipe? I don't know. Yeah, that counts as one. Drink. Can you stir my head? No. If you say it's real, then I believe you. Maybe Rachel would have Rogers something to say about nor it. deny the crash of an experimental military aircraft over the weekend. Military aircraft? The area has been closed to traffic. Police are arresting anyone entering the secured area. Back to you, Bob. Wait. Ex expository speech there from the newscaster. And just in time, there's a helicopter. That's so, it's shaking the, wow, that's a strong helicopter. The table's like, fucking that. Huge fence, I remember. Anything, Tobias? There's a lot of activity north of here. Something definitely did crash. They're in the wrong place. It was nowhere near the crash site. If you ask me, the whole thing is... The thing is, I was trying to pause, because in the books, Axe was in the ocean for weeks. Essentially, since the same time Elfanger landed on Earth because he came from the dome ship, which split in half, and the dome which Axe was in collapsed into the ocean. Now this is implying that Axe has just landed. You do not see the problem there. Do you think the TV show will ever explain it? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. Talking bird? Says looking for an alien in the woods is weird. Watch it, Marco. I have great aim. That was almost a Canadian accent. Nah, I don't, nah, I don't think so. We're not getting anywhere. Not obvious enough. Maybe we Some should split up. remembered why don't they just use their bird well, I suppose that they haven't got bird morphs in this have they do they ever go into their bird morphs apart from Tobias throughout this series it was one of the things they all had their bird morph Marco Cassie Osprey Jake Peregrine does that not happen in the TV series because it would be dreadfully useful at this point <laughs> slow-mo drink Cassie's got the shining. Red Ram! Red Ram! <laughs> That's it! to hang on that shot for so long. <laughs> I 
I'm not drinking as much as I did in the last episode. There's dozens of abandoned buildings here. I'll never okay. find the right one. Maybe it'd be useful to use your morphs then, you morons. More of a dog, sniff things. Wow, they turned up very quick. Hey, head over there. Hey, you, over there. <laughs> There's, a, I, I want to pause on that. Let's have a look at the, the Dracon beam in all its TV show glory. It's a torch with, <laughs> with little toy gun bits crudely glued on to the side. In the TV show, I, I think what we need when the movie eventually comes out is like Nerf guns, but Dracon beams. And I imagine them being roughly like your standard military rifle. So... It needs to be held with, it, with one arm and a hand. You know, quite sizable, quite chunky. You know, something, fu but a fucking torch that they're just sort of twiddling along in their little hand like that. These fumbling, bumbling controllers. Nah, nah, not right. Not right. This isn't it. Let's go. How, how has he missed? How has he missed? He's standing there. And look how plainly in sight they are. <laughs> Tom, you fumbling, bumbling buffoon. I'm not drinking. Why am I not drinking? What, am I missing something? My brother's here, you know we're on the right track. There's no aliens. I'll follow them. Not much slow mo. We'll get some in a minute because the director fucking loves it. He gets the right hard on for slow mo. He even had some fast mo in this episode. But we're going to get axe in a minute, so that's going to be at least two things. Don't be afraid. We're here to help you. That's right. You know there are controllers around, so you're just going to shout into this. This thing. Don't worry, we won't hurt you. No, he's here. I know he's here. Why are we getting double vision? Yeah. Oh, it's prime alien real estate, all right. I'm going this way. They got Marco's height right. There, alien appears. That's two fingers. Two fingers drink. This is three. Mr. Three, you dare to speak that name in front of me. Sorry, wrong Andalite. Who are you? I am an Andalite warrior and I ask the questions. How did you know I was here? There's your thoughts, we came to help you. I was calling to my own kind. Let her go. Prince Alfango wouldn't have been so cruel. How do you know of Prince Alfango? We don't talk till you let her go. You okay? Yeah. Alfangor gave us a weapon to fight the Yerks. He was our friend. Are you hurt? <laughs> and my cousin. What the? And my cousin. This We've three? heard your cries. And my cousin. No! And my cousin. That was, that was another, because that's Visa 3, it's a different alien, so that counts. That's two fingers. Drink! I think one of you out there is actually drinking with me. I forget who it was. Thank you for those who do watch this. It's not as popular as my animals book reviews. But then again, would it ever be? <laughs> would anything to do with the TV series ever be as popular as anything to do with the books? No. But thank you very much for watching this with me. It's, uh, it's one of those things you, you do need alcohol for. I do actually recommend joining me in these drinking games. Because it's so much easier to get through this pile of shite that is the animals tv series three see us problem is of lager it gets you sick quite quickly 
It's not the most pleasant stuff, like. Cassie, what are you... You never saved the Andalite from Vesra 3. Oh. With that? You'd be surprised what a skunk can do. Yes, the tiger wouldn't be helpful, but a skunk, now that's what you want. You are injured. Let us tend to your wounds. We've been waiting for you. This would not happen in the books. Ax would not just wander up to Visser 3 and allow him to gently caress his face. That wouldn't happen. <laughs> Catch it, you fools! They really are fools, aren't they, Mr. Three? I agree with you. Look at them. And the directing was shit. By the way, these individual shots of the ends, it's not another case of an alien appearing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I don't even remember that. This <laughs> this obviously fake skunk is landing in Marco's arms. I want to see that again. Cassie, Cassie, let's go! Come on! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Look at that thing. It's so <laughs> And then he dropped. Right, that's that's slow mo and speed morph off screen. And that's gonna take me to the end of this drink, so I'm gonna to have to refill. Fuck me. On to the third drink. I do like this moretti. But what I don't like is drinking too fast. And three bottles in the space of 25 minutes is what I would define as too fast. But hey ho, I'm doing it for a reason, and that is to entertain you. The sacrifices I make for your entertainment. You should be thankful, you should be bowing at my feet. Right, let's carry it. Come on. On to the third drink, and we're only about, well, not even two minutes. We're trapped. Come on, come on! Come on! Where's Rachel in all this? She would be pretty bloody helpful. Come on, let's go! Come on, don't. Come on! Jeez, no one's gonna hurt you! They went that way! Hurry, come on, let's go! Hurry! Come on! Costume. Why has he got the mohawk thing? That weird hairstyle. Now what? Oh, this is just great. Over there! Check that corner. Now we're really in trouble, guys. <laughs> great acting, Marco. Nice one, Boris. Now we're really in trouble, guys. He has his moments of good acting, but. I demand you tell me what you are. We the humans will just save you from getting an earful of yerk. Only Andalites can morph. Elfangor will give us the power. He wouldn't do that. Elfangor would... We gotta get him out of here, guys. We can't go this way. Well, then we better start digging. You're gonna have to morph. Something with wings. They have no morphs that can fly. I have trouble with heights. You have trouble with heights. When was that ever a thing? I should I should have a new drinking category of just things that are just not canon. Because that would count as one of them. Acts as a fear of heights since when? You should have thought about that before you got into your spaceship. Huh? For, yes, Marco, thank you. Are those Dracon beams or just normal torches? <laughs> it's hard to There's talk. nothing you can do for me. Yeah. They got Elfangor. We are not going to let them get you too. Wait! I think I hear something.
Oh, how convenient. There's a freaking butterfly. In here. Come on, get this door. Wait, so it took three teenagers to eventually open the door. Let's see how long it takes about 20 fumbling, bumbling adults. <laughs> and what do you know? Oh dear. What do you know of butterflies there? And it just happens to be placid. Docile. You've got to trust us. Acquire the butterflies. It's more plot conveniency than the books. Welcome to Earth. I think I did see slow mo in there, but I don't think it was convenient. Now, does this. That counts as speed more than off screen, but does the butterfly one, though? Because we don't know how long it took for Visory to get through the door. I don't think that counts, but that one definitely counts. That's a speed more than we've ever have seen one off screen. Where'd they go? Slow mo, drink. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's, that's one thing a drink. And like you survived. My ship was not prepared for your atmospheric conditions. And Nino strikes again. How are you feeling? Better. Are there more of you coming? More Andalites. I don't have that answer. Tobias, you went over the two-hour limit. Anonymous. That's what we call such a one. Noth lit. It's not lit. It's not lit no. to the end of it. I'm sorry. Now you must bring me to Alfangor. We can't. Alfangor gave us the power to change. Because he knew he was going. They even use the bars in, on the set to obscure Axe's face. That's how little they have confidence in their own costume it's a design. Death. They use whatever they can to obscure no! their vision. Yeah, thanks, Tobias. Thanks for that helpful input. There he is. Where? I'll see you. They, they really do not like their own costumes that they've made, that they try in every way to obscure you from seeing it, whether it might be blurring it, or having the camera directly over the shoulder, or having leaves in front of it, or bars. Why did I not listen? You're just a kid, aren't you? I am. I remember, I'm gonna, I remember when I was a kid. It wasn't, when I was a kid, I, uh, being British, this was barely on television. I only saw a few select episodes of this, and it was at random times. I wouldn't even have the schedule for when it was on the Animals TV show. But one of the things I thought and was disappointed by when I watched the TV show was that there were no aliens. Hence why it's on my drinking list, because it's so rare. And the one time... I think I did see an alien on TV was when it was Axe. And I think it might have been one of these scenes or another a scene from another one of the episodes. But I saw it and I thought, that just looks shit. That's not what I think of in my head when I'm, I'm reading the books. And that was a real letdown. And I think that's one of the biggest letdowns of the TV series is it's a TV series about aliens. And there's fuck all aliens. In the TV show. That, that's a problem. That's a real problem. And that's why it should have been an animated show. Because then you could you could do the aliens. But here, this is the best we get. Just a slightly over the shoulder scene or shoot. Of some really crappy alien costume. Which is bold in all weird places. and Hawk Bajira basically worthless and there are no taxons and the Yerks are literal slugs <laughs> a, a, a book series which for all intents and purposes is an alien story and if you're going to put it into a TV series you need that the TV show didn't like you look you're even obscuring it 
We need like a category of times the alien has been obscured by something like leaves. <sighs> and every time an animal makes a noise, meeting out no Bangor reason. was one of the most wonderful, most important moments. Put your suggestions in the comments for what I should drink. Of. Now we fight the Yerks to save our world. We're also fighting for him. You're with friends now. My name is Axel Escrothistle. There's Rachel. <laughs> She's a. I don't get it. Why? Why was she not in this episode? So they just not want to. This is our new friend. Yeah, it comes as a surprise, doesn't it, Rachel? Because they didn't invite you to the party. This is Axe. Hi. Uh, I hate to break up this Kodak moment, but how are we going to hide a blue centaur? He's acquiring us for his move. Uh, God, what's the call again? <gasps> what's, the, what's the process called again from the books? Animals, man, I should know that. Something maneuver. Frolis maneuver. Frolis, Frolis. Oh my god, that's awful. It's the sort of thing I'd, I'd see that as a child and I'd be like, Huh? This is Animorphs? This is what my favourite series looks like on TV? Blech. I mean, granted, that's pretty cool. That's not. <laughs> Elf Jake. There he is. The guy who's not in the intro credits, and Tobias is making more. I do like this actor. You're us. Will this help? Can't hurt. <laughs> Two legs. But I don't understand. How do you see behind you with only two eyes? <laughs> I like... Uh, this guy is... He's, he's a pretty good axe, I will say. He's pretty good. Mow. Mouth. Speak... Sp speaking. Eking. Ing... G... G... You'll be safe with us. I've hardly had the opportunity to drink. I haven't even got through my third. You're not going to be alone. Yeah. I pledge my loyalty to you, Marcus Jake. <laughs> Marcus just like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? I will fight by your side until the Yerks are destroyed. I really do like Boris Cabrera. Get out. I, I really like him. I don't know why. It's just something about him. It's just Jake. He's right. He's a fitness trainer now. I wonder if he's still got that orange coat. When you open your heart, sometimes you find a friend where you least expect to. Then you don't feel so alone. And the things that used to seem impossible become easier to face. Because your friends are beside you. And that means everything. Slow mo drink. I will add as well. The whole alien appears on screen thing. I think we should have it so that it's scene dependent. So when they're in the factory, we've got all those different shots of acts, but it was all in the same scene. That was a different scene. So I'm going to add on here an extra two fingers for alien appears because it's acts in a different scene in his alien body. So I'm going to add two fingers. Drink. Ah, all right, now the football's on. So I'm going to go listen to that. I didn't even make it through three this time. I drank less, I drank about three fingers less than the previous episode. But that was, that episode was pretty bad. It was one of the worst ones so far because it just, it, did, it just 
veers away from the books too much. The actors are doing all right. It's good that we've got acts now because a lot of the humour from this series, as in the book series, comes from acts. And I think the actor does a pretty good job of dealing with acts. So that was the message. Yeah, not great. <laughs> but what were you expecting? Thank you very much for watching the Animal YouTube channel. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. And um, if you haven't finished your drink, savour the last of it. Because we don't get to savour much when we're doing this particular drinking game, do we? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.